Welcome back to The Watch. And Oz, why is there a trend in video game development of the community managers being insane? <laughs> like maybe that's going too far, but very woke and yeah. just going off the deep end. I prefer to call community managers scum. <laughs> because guess who took over Halo? Oh, you have some, yeah. you have some trauma yeah. of the, of the, this role. <laughs> you got to keep the journeys in check. Okay. Never give them power. Do you think there's something about the role that attracts activists? Yes. 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 If you hear the word manager in any description, <laughs> the managerial class, the managerial class is the worst class of anything. <laughs> you might have a point there. Yeah. Cause like, when, when you think about like a lot of types of roles where there might be some influence or power, right? You would. It makes sense that an activist would want to get in that role because they, uh, you know, usually have trouble spreading their message, right, one on one. But if they yeah. can get in that position where they could like ban certain comments mm -hmm. and guide uh, conversations, discussions, yeah. Yeah. like we see it on, you know, the um, uh, um, uh, what are they on Reddit? The managers, the mods, the yeah. mods on Reddit and Facebook groups and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I've seen many times it attracts like power hungry little like people yep. that um just start you know going crazy people seeking institutional power they can't really find it in any other like avenue within mm -hmm. their own personality anything like that so they have to find a place where it's like here's the title i get that power now and then they exploit it well we've been seeing some exploitation recently in mm -hmm. game development a lot of it being exposed by uh, uh, <laughs> just twitter x like I have complicated feelings about Twitter X. Like so much of the interaction is negative where it's just this toxic cesspit. Yet at the same time, it's one of the most unfiltered sources of truth on the, in the world at the moment. I understand. I have complicated feelings about my ex as well. Mm -hmm. Wait, we're talking about... Hey, yeah, you did. Keep going. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I actually don't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't <just> me. <laughs> well, on that note of uh, community managers seeming to be wacko yeah. right big activists we have a couple of examples and the first one comes from the hell divers 2 community manager which is shocking because hell divers you're the chosen one no i think this is just a one employee giving a really bad look to the overall company. yeah yeah now i watched a lot of this on twitter but a lot of it has been collated uh on that park place, uh, dot com. so shout out to them and uh, they have a headline here so the hell divers 2 community manager declares game is pretty woke and reveals game was banning individuals she deemed bigots transphobes homophobes racists do you think um hell divers 2 is pretty woke no i, I don't think it uh, doesn't now they're uh, well this person's um uh, justification of it is like um you know it's colonialism is bad super earth is uh, is uh, jingoism or whatever they're saying and uh, you know it's got that it gave me very much like the um uh, feeling of uh, starship troopers where starship yeah. troopers were supposed to be you know gun ho well anti conservative pro communist kind of stuff but mm. they went so far that they actually ended up making a liberal democracy where where, where it's like service guarantees citizen type of stuff. Well, yeah, because the director didn't read the book mm -hmm. and he said, oh, just make them Nazis because that's what they are. Mm -hmm. Whereas the guy who wrote it, um, Heinlein, was very pro-libertarian like libertarian, and uh, in Starship Troopers, it's called a night watchman government. Mm -hmm. Small government, military, and to get into government, you go through the military, but mm -hmm. they're still voting afterwards, so it's... But yeah. even with the director wanting to try and subvert it, he couldn't. He couldn't. No. <laughs> and he, the original writer even even said like the bugs basically represent communism. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like pretty flatly. They do in real life too. And it's kind of funny if 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 and this is the big if because this is one person mm. giving their opinion on the game, right? That I don't think that they're supposed to represent. You know, the game, which is why they're doing such a bad job. Because I don't think they they're doing that right yeah they're trying to they're ultra woke and so they're trying to justify it on their side kind of in the same way that we're doing but that means the game is neutral if the game has enough room for interpretation that either side could then say this is based or this is woke, everything like that it means it's kind of neither yeah but at the same time that's where the nuance comes into it man yeah if you can interpret it either way and it, either side's getting what they want from it i'd say that's generally a good thing it's a win know? isn't yeah. it right um 
but she's trying to say, or oh, I don't know, I think it's a she, that no. um, you can't assume these days, right? Look, if I see a rainbow flag or any sort of flag, I just assume them. Them. <laughs> You have to yep. these days. It's a wild internet. Yeah. <laughs> um, but another good example of uh, hitting the line where it's actually not political and mm -hmm. it's just focusing on a good, fun story, right, uh, is House of the Dragon. Okay. There were so many actors and stuff coming out saying this is such a feminist film, it's so progressive, it's all about women empowerment and against the patriarchy. It comes out and House of the Dragon has one of the most uplifting, like season one, most uplifting, full on awesome stories of fatherhood mm -hmm. and masculine kind of protection and a patriarch trying to protect and keep the peace. Mm -hmm. And it's full on incredible. Yeah. Right? And as soon as they die. <laughs> like you could you could easily like have an interpretation that how's the jagger might be very anti-feminist with the way that the women act in it right and the like because usually the message like in the woke progressive side is that men are violent and women are, are peaceful and men need to learn to know and it's like how's the dragon the women are the ones causing all the death yep <laughs> and it's the guy the father trying to stop people fighting He's literally too peaceful to die. And then he finally does. <laughs> and they even name him um, uh, the peaceful, I think, after he passes, right? Yeah. Um, now, again, this is me putting my interpretation, but there's a lot of evidence there to justify that interpretation. So when looking at Helldivers, you know, like, it's e very easy to see that, okay, there are these factions that are just hell-bent on the destruction of mankind. Mm. And they and so mankind fighting back, you know? Yep. Like, uh, I get justifies um, <laughs> colonialism. Like, uh, they can attack us, we'll come to your planet and... Is it colonialism if it's really cool? <laughs> yes. So therefore, colonialism is cool. <laughs> I denounce everything Oz says, just remember. <laughs> okay. Not just not just what he says, just Oz. Yeah, every Oz. opinion I make, I not say. denounce Oz. I accept that denouncement. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so she's declaring the game is pretty woke when it's like, all right, uh, no, it's actually not. I could see where you might try and, and push that, right? Um, and now, so they go on to say that a lot of this was brought to attention by Mark Kern Grums. Good on you, mate. And uh, all right, so they wrote, however, in response to a later thread, she wrote, Plus, Helldivers is pretty woke, dog. Game was made by a lot of LGBT and brown people and black people and women, and it's a big satire of jingoism. So none of that makes it inherently woke. I know. I, I, hang on. Are, are they trying to say that it's not about the message, just if you have diverse people making it? That... It's like, that's... that. that what? No. No. I mean, and then they're trying to say that uh, LGBT, brown, uh, brown and black people... Hang on. Are they dividing this that group now? I'm confused. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Um, and they say that, you know, minorities can't make, like, a game that has conservative values if they're... If they're so it's an instantly won't. Hey, Japan and Korea exist, okay? Yeah, yeah. Stop trying to erase Asian people. She added, it amuses me they don't know that Super Earth is bad. I, like... See, that one... I would actually say there's more evidence in the game from what I've seen that... No, it seems like there are factions trying to just wipe them out. And so they're like, let's spread democracy and kill the people trying to kill yes. them. Yes. Right. So, so between uh, mindless bugs that just wanted mm. to consume and kill everything and uh, robots that are m torturing people and doing horrible things to them. So you, you heard about the robots? That Well, I, I have seen some of the posts that like I thought they were defeated, but it was just a thing I'm coming back. Oh, like... No, the, People will be approached by robots attacking them, mm -hmm. and the robots will be screaming, "Help! I can't stop! I can't stop!" <laughs> and like you'll find like cages with people in them and corpses and skin bodies and stuff like that. So they're putting oh. people into them. like it's messed up. <laughs> but I can't believe the woke people look at this situation like you know what? Horrible humans trying to end that. Super Earth, they're the bad guys. Yeah, <laughs> but that's what it gives these the um, a Starship Troopers vibes because there were people unironically trying to say that the bugs were the ones that were the good people in it. <laughs> like they do the same thing with 40k. Yeah. Like, like, oh, no, chaos, the literal forces of hell, they're actually the good guys. They're just a force of nature, whereas humans are evil and bloody hell. In the same thread, Baskin revealed that she and developer Arrowhead Game Studios were banning individuals from the game's Discord that they deemed as bigots. Now, this part is interesting mm. because I uh, 
heard and saw on my feed, right, that they had actually been trying to ban people that were saying or pushing really hard to put the LGBT flag in the game. And it yeah. seems like they just, no, no politics. If you're asking for any type of real world kind of thing, mm -hmm. you're getting banned, right? Now she's coming out, which seemingly contradicting it. She says, we only ban the bigots, transphobes, homophobes, racists, etc. are not welcome in our community. Now, this is particularly troubling. And this is like why, oh boy, hell divers, you do not want a person like this representing your game. Because a uh, woke activist like this will claim run-of-the-mill conservative beliefs, right? Mm. As being bigoted, transphobic. So when they say homophobes, racist, and stuff like that, from their mindset, they're not actually talking about true homophobes, true racist, right? Mm. Because usually they're the most racist people on the planet, right? They are talking about people that might, like, when we say racist, might just... They're talking about people that have, like, a questions like when they change Ariel to being black. They're like, hang on, wouldn't you want to keep the, like, source material? You're right there! I'll attack them being racist, right? That's their, that's their standard of racism, okay? When people who have objections to, like, race-changing characters, they hold that standard pretty evenly that if you change a black character white, they'd be like, hang on, no, Blade is black. Yep. You don't change it, like, right? And so... It, well, there's even an example, right, of... Uh, oh, it was the supposed casting for uh, the female character in the Lilo and Stitch live-action um, adaptation. Yeah. Okay? Where she was a bit too pale. Aw. But the thing is, the people on the left cried bloody murder. Of course they, they, they lost their friggin' minds, right? It's like, oh, now you have an issue with this, right? When you didn't have an issue it, with all the white characters being turned black, but if, oh, and this wasn't even a black character being turned white, it was just a couple two shades too white for them, and they lost their mind. It's like that family guy, uh, skin colour chart. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 arrest, arrest, arrest. <laughs> it's almost like that, it's crazy. But the thing is though, I objected too, saying, Oh, no, no, adapt the character accurately, okay? Yeah. We don't want to see black characters turn white, but we don't want to see white characters turn black. We just want the accurate source material reflected. Well, but, just not for political reasons. Like, you, yeah. you, you say yourself, Michael Clark Duncan. Exactly, thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you for bringing that up. Because there are some times when the uh, essence, the uh, the how the character actually is uh, depicted, right? Mm. Ha the key identifying visual feature is something else other than skin colour. Mm. And so there are times when a race change actually... Yeah, Michael Clark Duncan, he embodied mm. the kingpin. I think he owned it. Or uh, Kynes from June, the first part. She was the black woman that was with them. Oh, uh, see, I, I don't she, know that. She was an old white dude in the books. But oh, yeah. in this... Yeah. I was oh, yeah, there's a couple of times where it works. Like Nick Fury, okay? Yeah. Like Samuel L. Jackson just owned that role. He owns everything. Yeah, and Samuel L. Jackson is another interesting one because I haven't mentioned this element to it as well. Mm. If a character is actually so unknown and stale mm. right if you can get a really great actor that'll mm. just re-energize the role and they could uh, you know own it and almost recreate right uh, right even if they have a different skin color mm. definitely worth it because nick fury just or sorry samuel L. jackson just gave nick fury a, a rebirth right mm. you know the previous live action adaptation of nick fury was david hasselhoff i was literally thinking what if they had david hasselhoff but he was david it was the, okay they, wow. they, they, but the movie was awful yeah probably <laughs> and yeah. so picking between david hasselhoff at the time they it versus samuel it's like yeah samuel jackson any day of the week right yep. okay so but that's the thing even the subtle kind of take mm. that we give on race changing characters stuff like that for most people, they will accuse you of being racist. And that's their standard where they say, we ban the racist homophobes. And, and again, people have tried to accuse us of being homophobes, or me specifically, mm. because as a straight man, I don't find gay sex attractive. I'm not attracted to that. But that's homophobic. And it's like, I, I, I have gay friends, gay associates, that's not a problem. Mm. But the fact that I do not want to watch gay sex mm. is, that's a line too far for them. Well, and, just... they, and people have legitimately tried to say that, as a result, they say I say I, I hate gay people, which is bullcrap. Mm. It's like, no, no, I'm just not attracted to men. Mm. And so I don't want to see men engaging in, you know. Because mm. you know when bros came out? Have you heard of bros? You told me about bros last week. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. They were accusing straight people of being homophobic for not wanting to watch a gay rom-com with really explicit gay sex in it. <laughs> it's almost pornographic, but not actual pornographic, but really close, right? It's like... Straight people are homophobic for not wanting to watch this. Like, like, the world has gone crazy, but that's their line. And so if you do that, and and the evidence is 
hundreds of people have tried to attack me, calling me a homophobe for Nothing. just saying that. So if you're trying to say it doesn't happen, no, it friggin' does, right? Yeah. That's their standard. And just like you're called homophobe and you're not homophobic, mm -hmm. I get called racist. So what else happened with this story, Shad? That was a joke, okay? I denounce Oz. <laughs> Uh, what did you What did you say uh, when you asked me to come back? If I would, give, if I could be your uh, your decoy, or as a uh, scapegoat, scapegoat. That was oh, me. scapegoat, my friend. Okay, <clears throat> I wanted to be my jester. Yeah, yeah, that's what I. Want. I say the things that legally a lot of people aren't allowed to say. <laughs> okay, um, so if they've been banning people for that, that's like a big warning sign, right? Uh, we had to restrict the topics in the Helldivers 2 general chats for a while because it was triggering massive waves of hate speech, which our staff were struggling with emotionally. What did the hate speech do? Um, uh, what are they classing as hate speech? Yeah. Okay. But I feel like they would class anything as hate speech. Asking a question is hate speech these days. Anything that offends someone is hate speech this day, which means it's a nothing definition now. It means nothing. Once upon a time, hate speech had a pretty strict definition, which mm. was saying X group of people should, really bad things should happen to them because of being X group of people, right? Mm. That was hate speech, absolutely vile. Now, it is just anything that offends somebody. Yeah. And it's, as a result, it's a, it's a useless non-term. And the hate speech doesn't really do anything physical to the world oh it? and then they're complete hypocrites because so many things that they claim as hate speech if you just flip it around like instead of the um you know uh, minority group that you're claiming is uh, being uh, i guess uh, oppressed by the words mm. replace that with christian mm. okay and similar equivalent statements get thrown against christians all the time mm. but that's perfectly fine Okay, because they they have a double standard with what they are claiming to be hate speech these days, mm. right? Because and especially you know the other one that you could take out and put back in, and suddenly something that they claim was hate speech is now perfectly acceptable. What? Straight white men. Oh Just yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So, like perfectly fine. You can't even be racist to I guess white people is what they say. And guess what? What? There has been a couple of community managers literally saying that. Take a look at this one. Fortnite senior programmer uh, Evan Kinney, uh, the last, uh, fastest video game employee, oh, late, I'm thinking that's supposed to be latest video game employee, to claim being racist against white people does not exist. It does. It doesn't really affect me that badly, but it does exist. I, I just find this depressing and sad that they, because, well, let's get to the tweet. They, I, I can't. Not a hard concept. You can't be racist against white people in a Western country. This is an interesting acknowledgement. They're saying that, oh, you mean some of the uh, white farmers being like slaughtered in South Africa, that that is a, a type of racism now? You're acknowledging that? Yeah. Uh, that, that there's really horrible white racism in other countries. But then it's not in America because, all right, a five second Google shows you why. Thanks. This is Google's corrupt bullcrap, right? There is racial prejudice, bigotry, uh, bigotry, but you can't be racist against the majority race. Um. So hang on, I'm really in, you can't, like, this person is saying you can't be racist against the majority race. What if we scale it down to, like, a community level? Are you trying to say, like, in a predominantly black community because they're the majority race, suddenly you can't be racist against black people? Yeah. Like, like do they see how retarded this logic is? But they also, don't, but it's... It's so dumb. That excuses apartheid in, in Africa. I'm <laughs> So you agree with apartheid that wasn't racist? But then I'll say, no, it's about uh, positions of power. You can't be racist against um, the race group that is occupying most of the positions of power. When, by the way, it's like, hang on, even if you want to try, which I'm not sure is even accurate, like if straight white men occupy most of the positions of influence and power in the US at the moment, where I think that's changing quite a lot. I think women are occupying a lot more, as well as, I mean, minority groups and stuff like that. Mm. Um, US had a black president not that long ago, right? Mm. Uh, uh, but even if you, they wanted to take that and try and say, okay, it's only held by white men, is that like 1.00 whatever, 0.00 whatever, 1% of white people in power? Where most white people 
are struggling just as much as anyone else, yeah. poor, and they're not even the highest income earners in the in the US. It's actually Asian group, uh, Asians uh, are the highest income earners at the but moment. But they want to oppress them too. Well, they want to oppress they them too, right? Yeah. Even though they are a minority. Exactly. And then are they like this logic is so dumb because you know what that means, right? Mm. If suddenly black people had majority, um, uh, you know, position of power, are they unironically saying then that? it would be okay for people to use the N-word wholesale now against black people, right? If black people suddenly, no, that would still be racist. But more importantly, would it be worth it? <laughs> I just want equality. You just want equality. That's it. Yeah. The, the word that people want me to not say, that makes me want to say it. Especially when they say I can't say it. Uh, well, that's just your, your reaction to anything being told. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> But seriously, though, like they would never say that it's okay to be racist against black people all of a sudden because black people, are in the if they occupy the institution, of power, no, that would still be racist. Just like racism against white people is still racist. Okay, doesn't matter who's in power. Discriminating according to the color of people's skin is racist. It's definitionally racist. Definitionally. But anyway, so this is the community manager of Fortnite saying this. Okay, we feel differently. Race. A racist anti-white hate is the most important issue right now. And then replying, kind of weird to have a thing that doesn't exist as your most important issue. Again, they think it doesn't exist. I think they know it exists, but they're just... That you know, they are happy in. about it. Yeah. Okay. That's how it... Um, and then they go after Mark Kern as well. But like, look at this community manager. So, Bungie employees rush to defend racist community manager and former colleague after Mark Kern exposes their history. Now, this one, this one's a bit of a rabbit hole, man. It's not Frank O'Connor. Okay, so... Because uh, he's a former one, and he was done, he got banned from Reset Era. Well, this, no, uh, this one, uh, she's a woman, and it's Bungie. Um, okay, so, community manager Bungie has become pattern of behavior for those involved in the game industry hold an overt hatred towards their customers, right? And look, these are just three examples. There's more examples. And it's like this, why is it the community managers? We're already kind of open with that. It's because it attracts activists, mm. it seems like. And then they can try and manipulate and mold mm. um, the conversation towards the activism. And since if they are managing a community, guess who, what power they have? They have the power to ban. And they will ban people based on what they claim is racist sex. When it's really just oftentimes normal conservative talking points saying, hey, why are you a race changing the character? Just don't race change the character or hey um i'm not gay i'm attracted to women mm. i would like a pretty woman bigotry sexist right <laughs> like that that but that's what they go for and that's what they can do as community managers you know i remember back in the days of bungie like 2008 2007 2009 where you'd go into bungie.net and there'd just be you know the front page would be full of awesome stuff the community was doing you know um but now it's now it's just this crap. And you think about the job a, a community manager has. It used to be managing a community, not just like banning everyone, you know? It was meant to inspire people yeah, rather than it, just execute them. They've oh. become antagonists. And they, so many of them actually hate most gamers, right? Yeah. And so they're going to get what they deserve. Like, game companies need to wake up and realize you do not want these activists. So, like representing your game mm. the, um, oh, so many gamers are rejecting this stuff and all power to them like gamers going to save civilization honestly. we are going to save civilization rise up gamers <laughs> the anti-white game designers and employees come together and lie to themselves and others that it's okay to spread bigotry and hate for one specific group their bigotry and hatred can only grow and spread and but Fortunately for customers, these same people seem unwilling or unable to delete their vile history of their racist posts in spite of how many of them have been exposed. So this is coming from Fandom Pulse. Shout out. Um, uh, they cover this stuff. And so this, I saw this, um, uh, you know, online. So this is coming from uh, X or Twitter, Mark Kern. And this is some of this community. Scroll up. Yeah, post. Yeah, yeah, let's zoom in, right? Okay, so fundamentally, people have color can't be racist against white people that's a familiar thing that we just heard recently from another community manager yeah. right uh this is from liana rupert i'm gonna say rupert i think they can have bias but racism is systematic and in the u.s the system benefits the white community just just to hang on have you heard about uh, uh affirmative action affirmative action is a systemic policy that favors 
minorities. With the exception of Asians, because they're considered white. Seemingly. And legitimately, they're white people who are qualified that are in need of jobs, mm. have done all the study, right? Have been getting turned down solely for the color of their skin. A group of Asian people sued Harvard because they were getting rejected entry into Harvard because of being Asian. Because of affirmative action. They, we can actually point to overt, systemic policies in in society, right? That is favoring minorities and being racist against white people, right? Yet they will still claim that there's systemic injustice to minorities when it's like, hang on, where? Where is the law or the policy that is specifically targeting minorities? I haven't seen it. If you point it out, thank you, and I would condemn it if it's legitimately racist. Just but, but the policies I'm seeing, affirmative action, is actually the reverse. There is systemic racism against white people. Right? It's right there. But they will still pout, spout this, this what I perceive, because I haven't seen any examples, as being nonsense, right? Mm. Um, and then they'll probably claim, I don't know, like um, uh, prison populations or, or something like that, right? And when you... <laughs> Why are you assuming that the prison population's all well, well, minority? That's racist. They, they, we, we, there are statistics, let's just say, there are statistics that when you have um, a representation of crime, it leads to a representation in in uh, prison populations. Let's yeah. just leave it at that. But that's my point, is if you if you ask them questions you already know the answer to, you can lead them to, oh, so those statistics are okay, but the other ones mm -hmm. are wrong, so, you know, and then you can get to other statistics. Yeah, so. I literally, um, Carl from Lotus Eaters, Carl mm. Benjamin, was having a debate with this um, activist, and she was trying to say that, it, like, it's so racist that there's an overrepresentation of certain minorities in prison population, mm. and it was like, no, no, but per capita, right? Mm. And and she didn't. She literally did not understand what per capita meant, right? That when this is actually analysed per capita, mm. okay, this shouldn't be shocking. Now, just to be safe, per capita does mean based on even distribution. I think so. Okay, amongst uh, whatever the offset is, it equals an average. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, you know, they're trying to say that like um. Uh, Anyway, we won't go into the statistics, but all right. So it just—it's funny that they have these really like like warped and and they're activist talking points positions, mm -hmm. right? And they just spout them, and they don't actually know anything deeper than the talking point because they haven't checked if any of this is possibly true. But no, they say that. Um, yeah, again, it's a systemic thing that benefits white people, and it's been since we established ourselves at the start of our country's history. It's like hey. Our country's history? They're talking about the US, but the US is very different to when the country started. Yeah. Right? But our country's history. Our, I thought immigrants built America. Where's Why are you saying our country's history? Shouldn't you be this country? And you say our country. Do you want to be associated? Do you claim ownership of a racist country? These people, they don't even think. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, other things like, sounds about white, uh, she says. Because he's a uh, mouthy little white boy that knows how to string big words together to sound real smart. Now, that is an interesting one. It's like, all right, I can understand if you're trying to pass someone off, throw them away, like, he's just a mouthy, you know, boy, right? Mm. But throwing race into the mix, mm. specifically as a way to make the person look worse than what they are, to dismiss what they're saying, mm. it's like, that's interesting. What if you were to re reverse that and put black instead of white? That sounds really racist all of a yeah. sudden. Yeah, what they say, uppity? They say, uh, it, because there's a mouthy little white boy that knows how to string big words together to sound real smart. Mm. It's like, hmm. So you're basically using race as a negative statement. What is that? What would you call that definitionally? Racist. I was like, yeah. oh, that racist. Yeah, but oh, it's it's not systemic though. So right? again, these people believe it's okay to be racist to what? Because when they say you can't be racist to white people, that's them literally excusing their remarks that are racist. Mm. But it's okay because they deserve it. Mm. That's what that statement means when mm. they say you can't. Right? It means all the negative statements that I've thrown against this group because of their race are justified. And I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it. 
and that is so insanely racist in reality what they're doing okay and it and it goes back to thing like okay so you're saying that you know if black people are in power that any type of racism against black people is suddenly okay because it's not actual racism. Ah, oh, but the the time in history, and I'm I'm not trying to justify, but that's their logic. Yeah, but the time in history where uh they was where black people were still the minor, sorry, the the majority of the country, and they still had white rulers with apartheid, you know, the whole so everything like that. Um, that still wasn't racist. They're the majority. Are they saying if you go to a predominantly black country where uh, you know black people in power, like like what Sudan or or any other like um you know country that has predominantly black people? Mm -hmm that white people can then go around saying the n-word to everyone and be horribly racist and you can't be racist because the the power thing right, right it's nonsense but they don't see it they and they the reason why they don't see it is because they are actually racist but that would destroy their world like their world completely if they realize how horrible people they really are and so they have to gaslight themselves and delude themselves and tell them no it's not racist it's okay i can keep saying what i'm saying because you can't be racist for uh, right that's why they're doing it um, they are actually, they are horrible racists in reality, but they can never acknowledge it because they then, can't be honest with themselves about this, right? Then they'd start losing the thing that gives them power. But look at all these like white comments that this person say. White men, sorry, men, white men with white knight complexes sat around a table and thought, hmm, what's the way to profit off real trauma that is a very real problem in the industry, especially in content cre creation? I'm not sure what she's saying there exactly. Um, the context must be something about, you know, a group of white people, you know, sitting around doing something, but it's just trying to dismiss like it's white men doing it and white, white this, right? Uh, F him and F all the people making excuses for him and the thousands of white folks like him. F thousands of white, white people like him. It's like, by the way, it's like, if there are black people like him, no, no, not F them. Why? Just because, because they're black. But if they're white, F them because they're white. It's like, holy crap, woman. Like Liana Rupert, f people because they're white. That's what that statement is coming yeah. down to. Yeah, because she's excusing other people who aren't white for the same behaviour, but white people get thrown out the bus because they're white. That's like what? And again, just take out white and put in black and reread that. It's just like wow, lady. Mm. Holy crap! Community managers representing right yep. <laughs> what what great what genuinely great representatives for their games you, oh you're taking it personally as per my original post the need to sorry the need to a top when people of color say white people they are saying the broader community that is still very much inherently racist you don't get to dictate neither do i as a white po people sorry it's not up to you for debate so White people don't get to have input on. So something. she can we check to make sure she is white though? Because she keeps saying, you know, us white people. I know, but like she might be she might have a different background. I don't know. Should we check like the early life section of Wikipedia? <laughs> <laughs> but um it, it it's a bit crazy. And then she doubles down, I'm not going to defend myself because there's nothing to defend. It's like have you seen those tweets? Yeah, some of those racist things I've seen. I love this. This is the, this is a complete uh, oxymoron. I'm not going to defend myself. My character will like, and then defend yourself. And then she goes <laughs> on to defend herself. Whereas but, I just double down. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> my actions speak for themselves. Then she goes on to explain why actions speak for themselves. So you you are trying to defend yourself. Um, fan behavior, to be honest. Remember, this isn't a community manager, like or former community manager, but like not worth the time or engagement. Fan behavior, to be honest, not with Twitter is not the real world. Well, that I agree with. I don't think she believes that. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think <laughs> this is the only place he has any relevance. Trying to say Mark, oh, the only place Mark Kern. I bet this is a response to Mark Kern. It's like, no, no, Mark, you're doing great work, mate. Yeah, she would re reply to the controversy by saying she wouldn't defend the comments because there's nothing to defend, claiming that her actions would speak for themselves, but then also saying that she'd been healing with her work over the past two years when they seem to have stopped posting publicly about their anti-white racism. Healing what? I don't know. Then she unironically said that the people condemning her were the ones who needed therapy to heal their hatred while ignoring her own. No, what happened is you got exposed to being a horrible racist and now you're trying to deflect. Mm. Yeah. Wow, community managers. Doing, doing great work. 
I started this by saying they're scum. And you know what? I feel like... Uh, <laughs> your, your opinion has not changed. Bias confirmed. Yep. This ultimately ended with uh, her trying to play the victim. And she did something that is oddly uh, similar to uh, something that Alyssa McCunty did. I'm just saying her name. Her name is Melissa McCunty. Yeah, yes, I okay. agree. Yes. I, I... Very fitting name. Yeah. Um... <laughs> she came out with this really suspect email mm -hmm. and uh, to play the victim like all the harassment I've been getting. And it was from an anonymous account, which didn't make sense or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Liana Rupert uh, says, like, look at this, what was sent to me. Now, this is the thing. I've been sent horrible stuff, mm -hmm. right? And you just ignore it, mm. okay? Um, they rarely show receipts, and when they do, it's weird. Now, I'm not saying it's not beyond the realms of possibility, but we've been saying, as nearly everybody who's been commenting on the whole Game of Get 2 stuff, don't harass, don't send this type of stuff, right? Mm. Uh, and the only side, literally the only side that has been encouraging their audience to not dogpile and not harass has been the Game of Gate... Like, what does Game of Gate... Is Game of Gate 2 pro? I'm confused... But, but the anti-woke side is what yeah. I'm saying. But the woke side, literally saying, go report this person, dog pile, like literally trying to get people banned and everything like that. It's like, it's very clear who the real harassers are. Mm -hmm. right? And so a uh, e an email like this just makes me very suspicious because this is the type of thing that they want, remember? Yes. They want to play the victims. And so I would not put it outside of the realms of possibility that they would send this to themselves, okay? Because then it justifies their activism. And the amount of hate crimes that end up being uh, self-perpetrated... Staged to yeah. justify certain three-letter organisations. It happens so often, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. There was even something across my newsfeed this morning yeah. about the January 6th. Oh. There's a, but look, you can't. I, this one has been confirmed, but I suppose a CIA agent. Oh, absolutely! It's like conf, no, saying that there were FBI, you know, people involved in all this. Absolutely, stuff. yeah. The, well, the, you saw police open the doors and funnel people in. There's video footage. Yes, but that goes against the narrative. You're a, you're a terrorist, and worse, a gamer for believing that. Gamers, right? And so she posts this, right? This is uh, an abusive uh, uh, email with slurs in it. And there's just a couple of odd things about it. The email address is a slur at gmail.com. Hmm. That's against Google's terms of service. You, you don't, like, if you were to try and get an email address like that, hmm. it would be rejected. It's, it's, according to Google terms of service, it's impossible to have that email address. Huh. It's a bit odd, isn't it? That is very odd. Yeah. But it's not against Photoshop's rules to be able to do that. No, it's not. In actual fact, what you could also do is go to a website, mm -hmm. right? And you know the feedback or contact or everything? Mm -hmm. You can put in fake email addresses there uh. to send in bad comments. Now, if that's the case, look at this. Submitted from your contacts form. And so this wasn't even emailed. It was submitted through a contacts form on a website. What does that mean? I think someone went to their website or whatever. Oh, contact form, us, yeah. Typed in a bogus email, typed in this bogus thing. Okay. And if that was the case, it could have been from a critic or she could have done it herself. Okay. There's no way of knowing. Right. And when I've received abusive stuff from people, really vile stuff, right? And they've never tried to hide that they're either their account name or the email that it got sent from. Mm. Okay. And so... It's already just suspect, is what we're saying. Now, we don't know either way, but it doesn't prove really anything because there is, like, what looks to be even more abuse, right? Mm. Death threats and all this coming from the woke side, lobbed mm. at people like us, way more. Also, there's misspelled the N-word a ton of times. Now, there's one word you can guarantee... <laughs> Racist would not misspell. misspell. Is that because it would have gotten flagged? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I think but they spelt it right at one point and then wrong another. They multiple times. But here's my theory. I'm confused. She felt bad writing it so often to herself. Mm -hmm. So she's like, well, what if they misspelt it? It also comes off like a parody, right? Mm. They constantly try and um, uh, frame or, or uh, belittle disingenuously their side as being horrible racist when they're just saying something like, why are you race changing the character? But they want 
to uh, they want them to be far worse and so they caricature uh the people that you know criticize them as being these horrible racists mm -hmm. and when you see a couple it's like that's really like almost like a parody mm -hmm. it's like the exact caricature that you're constantly trying to paint the other side the other side really i've i've not seen actually a person who's anti-woke pushing back against stuff like this mm. like i don't see many actual racists in the world apart from the people attacking white people right mm. like, like i they do exist but there's not a lot of them yeah. i walk down the street guess what Oz? i don't run into many white supremacists or racists that's because why is that oh yeah because it's like mostly done it's a tiny tiny minority yeah they exist but there's not a lot of them in the world well since they're a minority they don't... but the thing is there's no way near enough of them in the world to justify the activism that people mm. want to then either be justified with their DEI policies their consulting and so they need to uh, vilify groups of people to be that to justify who they are mm. and you get stuff like this and it's like it really feels like it's a parody and uh Vanderpol says it almost reads like the type of stuff Leanna Rupert and her friends believes is said in private by all those mythical white supremacist gamers that they like to talk about so much fit with poor grammar bizarre sentence structure and an email that literally starts with the n-word and the email should be impossible to even exist it's an embarrassing way for someone whose worldview is tinged by racism to uh, retreat from accountability either way it appears to have been a futile effort as this didn't manage to get much of a response now look i swear i mean this not as a compliment or a brag or anything why well, do i say brag no uh but internet racism has gotten a lot more subtle in recent years because of your uh banning and censorship there's no need for this to be said you can say something witty now that you heard or just share a meme well no the bar for racism is just mm. like jokes that, that, yeah like stereotypes are racist but of course perfectly fine for stereotypes against white people right? well i would argue that those racist jokes are racist like like chris rock and dave Chappelle, their humor is race humor and can be called racist but my opinion is is that see if... i don't think don't like fall into their word games and their definitions okay mm. racism is actual discrimination against people according to the color of their skin yeah pointing out funny contradictory stereotypes that you notice mm. for comedy's sake that is not racist well, we should never accept their definition and claim that it is yes yeah, but i've always gone by the definition of discriminate is like to literally make a judgment and and take away certain things to like you're discriminating by making a judgment about something particular that's what i've always possibly done. but but the thing is though people misunderstand dis uh, discrimination all the time um people actually practice being discerning and discriminating mm. all the time so i was very discriminatory when i was looking for a wife exactly okay. that's my point okay but uh... but, but there, there were there were girls that was like no i'm not interested in you mm. uh, all right and i uh, like okay so of course but they don't want to acknowledge that yeah right? but my right. point was that i think racism is only really harmful is when you're and by hurting way, people or killing people yeah, or taking stuff away the thing them. is not discriminatory according to race by any means but very discriminatory about religion yeah i was I, my standard was i was going to marry someone who was a member of the church of jesus christ of the United States. my faith because i wanted common values and everything like that mm. that is discriminatory okay mm. but it's perfectly fine yeah all right because there are some choices all right and we're not and i'm not excusing any discrimination based on race but there are some choices that of course people acknowledge that yeah all right mm. but the whole all discrimination that's like sometimes people and everyone does this everyone discriminates. discriminates to some level and is discerning on certain things okay mm. um and so but when they say oh you know it's discrimination uh, across the board bad and then they inherently tie it to race that's where it goes uh, well, again that's a contradiction because mm. to discriminate that someone's a member of a different race you're immediately discriminating yeah. you know so like oh these people <sighs> so this is this just keeps going on this is, and just... i'm glad it is because it's exposing it like all this stuff is getting exposed because of gaming gate 2 mm. and i'm on board with it because it deserves to be exposed and uh, these game companies clean now yeah, clean your house all right and i'm not saying don't hire woke people i'm saying reel them in and stop alienating your audiences and getting and not and you know these community managers like some even said that they hate gamers and stuff like that mm. and uh, tell them to cut it out and actually be tolerant of other people and just be happy that people want to play a game mm. i am saying don't hire them 
You're saying don't hire them? Don't hire them. In fact, fire them. That's Remember, what I, I denounce everything else says. Absolutely. So, <laughs> take from that. But um, I just want the world to be more tolerant of other people. Like, genuinely. Yeah. I, I like uh, different political opinions and stuff. We do need to get along. The world needs that. Otherwise, it's going to get more divisive. And the only path that leads to is apocalypse. As long as you're not doing anything to me or the people I care about, I don't care who or what you are. <sighs> this has been an interesting thing. But I'm sure more things will come out. Last thing. There's this game I really love called Totally Accurate Battlegrounds. It's like Fortnite. Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Well, no, it's it's called... It's the same company. Pabs. Oh, okay. But it's their, it's their Fortnite, right? Oh, okay. And in that game, if you try to type the N-word or anything sexist, transphobic, anything like that, instead of that popping up, it pops up with, I'm actually a little bit racist or I'm actually a little bit sexist in the in the thing. That's <laughs> that's the only measure they take. Yeah. That's how we should do it, I think. Yeah, you know? Good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Like... like yeah, I don't know. Because I'm against censorship. Yeah. Free speech and stuff. I think some level of moderation... Maybe there's a, That's a discussion for another video. Perhaps there is a argument for some level of moderation, but as soon as people take that, they usually censor people way too much and they end up censoring white in text and you can't even... Yeah. It's crazy. I just think, though, that that is the closest you can get to like the literal meaning of saying the N-word in a video game. Like, it doesn't, say, it doesn't use the word, but it captures the spirit of the word. You but know? do you think, like... You know, there's old modern warfare two lobbies and stuff like that. That 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 just made people stronger. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> we need more. But then we need stronger people in the world. You know, fair enough. Yep, nature it is. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And always stay on watch.